Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be showcasing how to add elements to your web page, as well as how you can customize elements further. So I'm here on my contact page of my website, and you'll notice I have a Google Maps app, an image, some text, and a form right here. With the website.com web editor, you can customize elements how you like using what's called the panel box. The panel box is contextual to the selected element and gives various options to further customize that selected element, such as styles or settings. To make the panel box appear, simply click on the element. So I can click on this map here, and you'll see that the panel box appears here on the right. From here, I can make various adjustments to the element, depending on the element. So for the map, I can click Edit Map, and then I can change the address here, which will change what is displayed on this map app. So I'll do that now. And you can see that change has been reflected right here. Now we'll move on to images. And as I said earlier, the panel box will change to reflect that the image is selected now, not the Google Maps app. So I can choose the image and you'll see that it displays different content over here in the panel box. This panel box gives me options to change the image itself, the design of the image, or various other elements regarding to the image element. I can also click on this text here and then I can go over to the panel box and choose edit text and that will open up our text editor. So here I can highlight the text and make different changes to the text, such as sizing, fonts, colors, etc. So how about I make a different font here? Let's choose that. And you can see those changes are reflected there. Finally, I can click on this web form here. And then over here in the panel box, you'll see that I have numerous options to change the web form as well. So I have edit form, which will open up this window where I can edit what's on the form itself as well as some other options to change the design, settings, view some form data, style, and size and position of the form. To delete an element, I can click on an element and then click the trash can icon in the top bar of the page, right here, and that will delete the element. Now, I'll show you how to add new elements to a blank page. So first, what we need to do is create a blank page. So to do that, I'll head to the pages section of the sidebar and then I'll click add page. And over here in categories, I'll just choose a blank page. And I'll name this contact us. Then I can hit done. And we'll be taken to our newly created page. Now I'll show you how to add a few different elements. If I go to the add section of the sidebar, you'll see we have what you see, what you get style. Meaning that what you see here is what you'll be adding once you click on it. The elements can be further customized after you add them to your website. So the first thing we'll do is add text. So we can make sure text is selected. And then you'll see the various types of text we can add, both headings and paragraphs. So how about we add a page title here? And you can see that I have that here on my cursor and I'll just click and put that there. And then I can edit the text by going over to the panel box and choosing edit text. And then I can put in contact us. And how about we choose a different font style? So we can go up here and you see that because we selected page title, that it's using the page title font style. So I can click on that and how about we use site title? And that will make it look like the logo, patisserie, contact us. Next, we'll add an image. Like adding text, we'll go to the add section and select image. Here you can see a bunch of predefined layouts for the image. And if you notice carefully that some of these have borders, some of these have shadows and are different shaped, as well as captions. So we'll just be going with a regular image. So we'll click on this layout here at the top. And then we can go to our stock images in this menu and we can choose an image that would fit our theme. So let's go to cafe and restaurant. And how about we choose this image here? And you'll see that that appeared here on my cursor. So I can click. And we need to now bring down the footer section of the page. So I can click and bring the footer section down and also bring the content section down to ensure that the image fits in the content section. So I'll click and drag that there. Images can also be customized through the panel box. So over here, like before, we have ways to change the image as well as change the layout, design, and style of the image. Finally, what we'll do is add a button. This is added the same way. We can go over to the add section, choose button, and you'll see we have a bunch of buttons here for you to add to your site. So how about we add this contact us button, this orange one here, and you'll see it's now appeared on my mouse cursor. 
and then we can simply click and place it here. And because we chose a predefined button, we can now make any changes we want in the panel box over here. We could even edit the text on this button. Or we could change the design, we could make it link to something, change the style, or the size and position. And that's it! I've shown you how to customize elements using the panel box, as well as add new elements to your page, which can be further customized using the panel box. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us or check out our other tutorials. Thanks for watching. Thank you.